Okay, so let's see if I can walk you through how to set up my math lab. So I'm in student view, so this is what your class should look like. I'm going to go over to my lab and mastering. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to open my lab and mastering. It's going to ask me to acknowledge the user agreement, so I'm going to scroll down and accept. It's going to ask me to either log in if you've ever used um, Pearson, my lab, in any other math class or other math other classes you can use your same username and password if not you're going to create an account so i'm just going to pick an uh i don't know i'm going to make up an email address my email one two three at gmail.com i'll use that as my use your email address. oh i'm going to use that as my um username as well and then I have to pick a password. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, first name, last name, trial, I don't know, security question, geez. Okay, so I agree to the terms. Um, I, oh wait, I'm not under age of 18. I wish to receive messages. No, I don't need to do that. Okay, so create an account. And then at this point, it is going to ask you to purchase the code for up to 24 months, so two years worth, that's $105. It's going to ask you if you want an 18 week. So if you are going to just take this class, you're going to finish this semester, you're going to ace it, right? Then you can purchase an 18 week code that's a little bit cheaper. It's only $70. Or if you've already purchased an access code at the bookstore, you should be able to click here at um, access code and enter the access code that you've purchased at the bookstore. And as long as it's the correct book, it should work. For those of you that need a temporary access, for the 14 days, you can click here, but then please make sure that you're paying attention to your expiration time and date so that you can um, purchase the permanent code uh, before that expires so you don't lose all of your homework and stuff like that, okay? Um, so clicking here to your access code, you should be able to enter your access code that you purchased from the bookstore if that's what you did, and then you should be able to get into the class from there. So hopefully that helps.